Many of you have asked us questions about traveling to Italy, and in particular about the Green Pass. And I know it's confusing. Well, folks, today we're going to give you an update about traveling to Italy and what you need to do before uh, and what documents you need. And we're going to try and answer most of the, of the common questions based on the new regulations that the Italian Minister of Health has released just the other day on July 29th, 2021. Stay tuned. Hi everyone, I'm Rick. And I'm Andrea. And today we are going to try to help you understand the rules and regulation to enter Italy this summer. And it's not a big of a deal, but there are some mm, things that you need to know before your trip. Mm -hmm. But first, if you like travel-related videos, now is a fantastic time to hit the subscribe button down below so you never miss any future video. That is really good advice. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, guys, so um, let's begin. You know, the first question that everyone keeps asking is, how can a person outside of the EU get a green pass? Like, if you're in the US or Canada, can you obtain an Italian green pass? Until now, it's been unclear. What we knew is that visitors from the US or Canada uh, to Italy needed to either be fully vaccinated or had a COVID-19 test taken within the last 48 hours from taking their flight. And just the other day, the Italian Ministry of Health has finally clarified that the official certificate of vaccination from Canada US, UK, Israel, and Japan is equivalent to an Italian Green Pass. So to enter Italy from Canada, uh, the US, and Japan, you have to have completed this prescribed COVID-19 vaccination cycle at least 14 days ago, or have recovered from COVID-19 within the last 180 days from the date of the first positive swab, or you have to have taken a negative molecular or antigen swab test in the 48 hours prior to entering Italy. It's a mouthful, but it's very <laughs> important. Yes. Another question we get asked a lot is, what about traveling with children? Do they need a COVID test? The Ministry of Health has clarified that children up to six years old do not need a COVID test, PCR or antigenic, mm -hmm. to enter Italy. This is good news, I think. Yeah. However, for anyone seven years and up, they will need to produce a negative COVID test or vaccination certificate mm -hmm. to enter Italy, either PCR or antigenic. No, that's pretty fair. Straightforward, yeah. Another um, common question we get is about the digital passenger locator form. I've actually never filled one out. Uh, you know, like, what is it, they ask? You know, how do we fill it out? Well, folks, the passenger locator form is used by the public health authorities to make contact tracing easier in case travelers are exposed to an infectious disease during their travel by plane, ship, you know, cruiser, ferry, rail, bus, car, whatever. And at the moment, only Italy and Malta require passengers to fill up this form. One form must be completed for each adult passenger. Accompanied minors can be registered on the form of the accompanied adult. And in the case of unaccompanied minors, the digital passenger locator form must be completed by the parent or the legal guardian before departure. And by the way, we've gone ahead and put a link in the description below for the passenger locator form. Next question we get asked a lot is about returning back home. Mm -hmm. What do you need to know? Well, if you're going back to the US, the CDC says all air passengers coming to the United States, including US citizens and fully vaccinated people, are required to have a negative COVID-19 test result no more than three days before travel or documentation of recovery from COVID-19 in the past three months before 
they <clears throat> board their flight back to the States. Hmm. The test can be PCR or antigenic. Now, keep in mind that everything can change quickly. So, before your trip, always double check the CDC website and uh, make sure you have the correct and most updated information. Yeah, because you don't want any, uh, any surprises. No. Canadian passengers five years of age and older require a PCR test taken within 72 hours of the scheduled departure time of your flight mm -hmm. back to Canada. And it specifically states that antigenic tests are not permitted. Yeah. If you have a connecting flight, the test must be conducted within 72 hours of the scheduled departure time of your latest direct flight to Canada. Mm -hmm. If you have a layover longer than this, this time, a test of your uh, must be taken in, trans in the transit city. Mm. Also, Canadian passengers returning home must register on the Arrive Canada app. These are the current requirements, and again, double check with your local authority before your travel. You don't want any surprise. No, definitely not. And in Canada, uh, they say that if you go to Canada without a test, you're liable up to a $5,000 fine. Another very common question we get is from travelers entering Italy by car or train from another EU country. At the moment, if you arrive from any EU country or from Iceland, Norway, Switzerland, Liechtenstein, Andorra, or Monaco, you're going to still need the same passenger located, locator form, which is in the description below, and the Green Pass, or the official certificate of vaccination from uh, the US, Canada, or Japan. And if you're coming from any other European country, including the UK, they're going to need uh, you to present a negative test taken within 72 hours, 48 hours for people coming in from the UK. Mm -hmm. And they're going to have to quarantine for five days after entering Italy and then take another test at the end of quarantine. If you're from any other country, you can come to Italy only for work, study, health, and emergency, and you should check with the Italian Ministry of Foreign Affairs for the latest requirements. The link, by the way, is going to be in the description below. Lastly, one of the most common questions that we get is, which vaccines mm. are recognized by the Italian government? The answer is, Italy only recognizes vaccines that are approved by the European Medical Association. So, mm. it's a very short list, <laughs> yeah. which are Biotech Pfizer, BioNTech, BioNTech Pfizer, mm -hmm. Moderna, AstraZeneca, Janssen, also known as Johnson & Johnson. Mm -hmm. Any other vaccine is not uh, recognized and does not qualify for a green pass. Exactly. The Chinese ones, the Russian ones, no. not recognized. Not at the moment. Well, folks, we hope we answered most of your questions in this video. Do come and visit Italy if you feel if you, feel you want to. Mm -hmm. We want to see you. And keep in mind that everything can change. So always contact your local health or your local travel authority before your journey. And um, if you have more questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. And we'll try to answer as best as we can. Yes, that's a great idea. Meanwhile, see you on the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.